forget to subscribe, click that bell, like, comment, and share. Okay, so to begin with, uh, I will I would like to introduce our guest speaker for uh, this webinar. Okay, so our guest speaker. So as you can see on the screen, so our speaker for uh, today's webinar entitled "How to Turn the Idea into an Intellectual Property Asset." It's no other than our director, Dr. Ria Lisa Sikanlas. So Dr. Ria Lisa Sikanlas is a registered civil engineer, accredited materials engineer, one, and certified patent agent. She obtained her degrees in Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at the Mapua Institute of Technology, Master of Engineering Management, major in Construction Management, at the Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila, and Doctor of Technology at the Technological University of the Philippines. Currently, uh, she's taking Innovation and Creative Entrepreneurship Management Diploma at Thames International. Dr. Ria is an industry practitioner, academician, researcher, innovator, inventor, technologist, scientist, entrepreneur, patent professional, and science communicator. She is a member of various professional and civic groups such as Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers or PICE, Committee Vice Chair of Association of Patent Professionals, American Concrete Institute Philippines or ASIP, Project Management Institute or PMI, Filipino Investors Federation, Researchers, Inventors, Scientists, and Engineers of the Philippines, Board of Director of Mapua, CENC Alumni Association, Auditor of Philippine Association of University Women, and Founder, Founder President of Finit Element Institute of the Philippines. So Dr. Canlas have extensive training under the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines and passed several distance learning advanced courses at the World Intellectual Property Organization, or WIPO, based in Geneva, Switzerland. Dr. Ria is founder inventor of Polite Technology Incorporated, a startup local manufacturer that uses green innovation and technology to contribute to nation building. The technology is seeded by the Department of Science and Technology to help usher in an active localization of construction materials and respond to the in infrastructure needs of the country. Through her innovative construction materials, Dr. Ria was conferred with back-to-back -back national awards. In 2019, given the Gold Award, the highest rated design in the field of uh, materials innovation and Grand Prize Malasakit Award, as the first recipient in the Philippines for her technology and designs embodying the highest ideals, having the most impact in addressing 10 sustainable development goals of the United Nations, given during the first Good Design Award 2019 of the Design Center Philippines and Department of Trade and Industry. And in 2020, the grand, the grand winner in the professional category of the Alfredo M. Yao Intellectual Property Award given by the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines and Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The AMY IP Awards aim to recognize socially relevant inventions by Filipinos. To be eligible for the award, the IP must be a patented and patentable technology, product, service, or subject matter. It also has to have commercial potential, will solve a societal problem, or contribute to local community development and environmentally sound and sustainable. Additionally, she was one of the finalists in the Tech Planters Philippines 2020 of Lib Anes Singapore 
and one of the top 500 promising technologies in Slingshot 2020. Also, most outstanding alumni in the field of research and development conferred by the Mapua CENC Alumni Association. Dr. Ria promotes the, the feminine genius as a female making impact in the male-dominated industries such as construction, manufacturing, and creatives for an authentic cultural change where deep technology revolutionizes creative industry towards sustainable and inclusive development. She was featured in several media outfits as an ASEAN designer and a woman in service. She is currently the director of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship of uh, National University, Philippines. So let us uh, welcome and give a big round of applause to our guest speaker, the, our very own director, Dr. Ria Lisa Sikanlas. Let Good us give morning. her a big round of applause po. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, I saw a lot of claps. <laughs> Nakakatawa. Ngayon lang yata ako nakita ng ganong karaming clap. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to the students of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. We are one family here. I also would like to welcome the professors, the faculty members from different campuses, as well as uh, the members of the core who will be your co-owner co -owner or mentor in your um, selected topics. I would like to share my PowerPoint. I hope that you can see my PowerPoint. Okay, my PowerPoint, Karafi. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> the topic today is very important. It will make us rich, literally. This is about creation of wealth. How to turn our idea into an intellectual property asset. Let us talk about assets. How do you know an asset or what asset do you know? <clears throat> Of course, we know about tangible assets, houses, cars, jewelries, and many other possessions, or we call it the physical assets, anything that we can touch. But there is also a different kind of asset that is called intangible, an asset that cannot be discerned by our senses or we cannot touch, but they are valuable or more than valuable than something that is tangible. I would like to introduce to you seven types of intangible or intellectual property assets based on the intellectual property code of the Philippines. Number one, copyright and related rights. I will explain in detail these different types of intangible assets later, but I know that some of you are familiar or some of you already have heard of these terms. Second, patents and utility models. Third, industrial designs. <clears throat> Fourth, trademarks, service marks, collective marks. Five, layout or topographies of integrated circuits, six, geographic indications, and seven, undisclosed information or commonly known as trade secrets. So I hope that beginning today, you will be able to remember the seven types of intellectual property so that you will know your rights whenever you have the potential of creating any of this. All tangible assets are as valuable as intangible assets, but most of the time, the intangible assets has bigger value than the tangible assets. Starting 1986 and above, most of the companies are now having 
bigger intangible valuation of as intangible assets rather than or compared with their tangible assets. That's why most of the companies now are so-called innov innovative corporations because they're already dwelling on intangible assets. Next. What is intellectual property? We call intellectual property asset. Or how do we own an intellectual property asset? First, we use our brain. Our brain that is composed of the left and right brain, di ba? Sabi nila, the left brain is more of the logical mind, the analytic mind. And the right brain is more of the creative mind. But whatever, left or right, you're using, as long as the idea comes from your mind, then you can have an intellectual property. Your idea that exists in the mind should be expressed in something, in any form. The idea can be expressed, example, in terms of pictures, songs, movies, books, paintings, poetry, etc. However you want it expressed. So that people can see what's in your mind, right? Whatever is in your mind, you have to express into something. And when you express in terms of the following I've shown in the screen, it's called copyright or related rights. If you express your idea in terms of products or processes, only two, products or processes, then you can have a patent and utility models if you disclose the information. But if you do not disclose the information that involves under undisclosed information or trade secret, if you thought of something that is two-dimensional or three-dimensional crafts or designs, then you are creating industrial design. So I do hope that when we use our mind or imagination and express into something, that expression may now have different forms of intellectual property. 